Hi, I'm Eric Santana with Santana Outdoors and we specialize in premium hunting gear. Let's take a look at some products that will make your next outdoor adventure a little bit better. With Santana Outdoors, today we're going to do something different. This is a little segment that we like to call the Clash of the Titans. What I mean by that is often we go on forums and reviews and we try to keep on top of what the best packs are out there and it's our job to kind of differentiate between them. So today we're going to compare three different packs. We're going to compare Eberly Stock to Kafaru and also Mystery Ranch. So bear with us, we're going to go through each one, give a little bit of details about them, and then we'll have a little bit of talk here at the end. Okay, so we're going to uh, begin with Kafaru. Uh, the one that we've chosen today, this is the Long Hunter, and what we did was we compared some packs that were similar, basically packs that are good for hauling in for several days at a time, four or five plus days, and uh, the Long Hunter was the one that we chose. The one you see here today has the uh, the XL lid. This particular pack is right around right around eight pounds with the lid, and you're looking at about 6,900 cubic inches. It is a very well built uh, built pack. Um, has great padding on all the shoulder straps. Great padding in the back as well, and then also in the small of the back. I like how in the center here how they do have a divide between there allows airflow to get up in there. They also have a great padded hip belt. You have some webbing on the side there where you can attach some things to. Same thing on both sides. On the back, uh, this is that XL lid we were talking about. It's right around 600 cubic inches and, and uh, it adds to the 6300 that this bag already has. So as you can see, it's got access on the top here and then on the bottom side it's got another a zipper here which gives you a different compartment space that's not all one there they're separated this is a traditional top loading pack and no problems you can see kind of roughly how big it is you know how much I can bury my arm into um, it does have some zippers and stuff inside here uh, very small compartments if you want to isolate a few things and then if you need to, on the bottom, it does have access to get you into the bottom side of the compartment as well, so you don't have to pull everything out from the top. It does have small compression straps on it, as well as larger ones. You know, great for tying down your tripods and that kind of stuff. And then also on the bottom, it does have some, some uh, shelves in there where you can isolate and separate some things as well. On either side of it, you do have uh, extra molly webbing, again, for attaching a lot of different things. Uh, there are no uh, pockets on either side. Basically, what you see is what you get. You get one, one large compartment. About the only additional part, uh, pocket on here is just a small, probably two liter size pocket on the back of the bag. The Long Hunter bag itself is, is right around $289, $300. It does not come with the setup that you see here. So this is a, an additional component that you would have to buy, um, which puts you up in the around the $700 range for this bag. Now, the, when the bag attaches to this whole harness and setup, this then becomes your main body and your frame, and the rest of it ties on with the straps. Um, it's it's a fairly comfortable bag, but uh, one thing that it looks like it's lacking a little bit is it would be nice if it did have some other pockets on the sides and, and other places instead of just a couple that it has. Okay, so that was just a, a quick rundown of the Kafaru. This is a very well made pack, no doubt about it. I mean, these things are rated to carry 120 plus pounds um, and at the same time maintain comfort. So no, no doubt about it, Kafaru was, was a highly, highly well made pack and uh, is sought after by a lot of people. Okay, the next one in the series of the three, this is the Mystery Ranch. This particular bag is the Kodiak bag with the nice frame. We're going to talk about it a little bit as well. As you can see, it also, uh, just like the Kafaru, has some great padded shoulder straps on it. Um, it does have some great padding, goes down the center of your back. As far as we can tell, it looks like that uh, the padding breathes a little bit better on this one. looks a little more ventilated than what we saw on the Kafaru. But uh, along the same lines, again, it runs down the small of your back. And then as you can see, it has some great padding on the hips as well. 
does have a couple small pockets on the hip belt itself. And these uh, shoulder straps here, they are adjustable uh, depending on height and, and whatnot, torso length. This one does have a nice handle that's uh, easy to grab and access. This mystery ranch bag is coming in right around 9.3 pounds. Uh, it's the heaviest out of the three and it's right around uh, 7,000 cubic inches. It's rated to carry 120 plus pounds. Uh, starting off with just the lid, it does have uh, divided compartments on the lid itself with obviously access on each side. You're looking at about a liter and a half uh, per side. Like the Kafaru, this is a traditional top loading pack. Kind of give you an idea of how much room there is towards the bottom. Pretty big inside. If you can see inside there, uh, it does have some smaller compartments uh, that you can isolate some things in. And then here on the bottom, it does have access to the bottom of your goods as well, so you don't have to empty the whole bag. And it does have some compression straps inside there, and uh, also some smaller pockets. Looks like a divider in there as well. Okay, now on each side of the Mystery Ranch, it does have a pocket on each side. It's not like what we saw with the Kafaru. It had a pocket on the back. But this does have a, a smaller pocket again on each side. You know, no problem fitting a, a spotting scope or something like that in there. And then this zipper here is actually going to get you access to inside the bag. So both sides are the same. And as you can see, you got some webbing and stuff to attach things with. And then you've also got this uh, nice water bottle holder here as well. All right, certainly, and last but not least, we just want to talk about one final component to this bag. And um, what these are is these are load lifters. So they're adjustable. And what that means is the load lifter will, will change how the bag uh, rides on your back. So if you like something that's sucked down tight to you and rides close to your neck and shoulders, um, this is definitely what those load lifters are for. You just cinch them up, pull them up, brings it in tight or you can uh, undo the slack on these and have it kind of carry back away from you a little bit. Definitely a very well made pack. Uh, this is a very popular pack among hunters. There's a lot of folks that really seek after this bag. Uh, no doubt that it was designed very well. And uh, again, this is getting some really good, really high marks on a lot of the forms that we are seeing. Okay, last but not least, this is the Everty Stock. This particular bag is the Everty Stock Battleship. It's coming in right about eight and a half pounds, and it's also right at about 8,000 cubic inches. This falls right in the same line as the other two. It will carry 100, 120 plus pounds, no problem. We're gonna talk about it real quick. These are padded shoulder straps as well. And again, you can see padding here um, going down the, uh, your back and then in the small of your back. This one appears to be the, the best ventilated. Uh, just for a couple reasons, it looks like the holes are a little bit bigger and then also how you have wider space in between uh, the two major pads and then you have space in between here as well, which allows airflow to get in there and move up and in between. The shoulder pads or shoulder straps, uh, it is padded but not so much to where it becomes bulky. It is a thin layer which is good and it also helps to distribute the weight so it's not you're not getting a pressure or pinch point. As you can see, you got a small pad here and the smaller your back. And then you also have the padded hip belts as well. Each side of the hip belts has good molly webbing to attach all your accessories to. And then with the Eberly stock packs, the shoulder harness is very easy to adjust. You just pull this thing out and it just walks up a little ladder, cinch it back down, you're good to go. Okay, turn it over. We're going to talk about the back and the main compartment. Uh, this does have a nice carry handle, just like the Mystery Ranch did. And then on the lid of this bag, you can see it has molly webbing again for attaching different things. You'll notice on the top here, it does have a, a pocket on the top. It's probably about a two liter space. And then on the inside, when you open it up, it has another pocket 
probably about a one to one and a half liter space. And these are not the same pocket. They're, they're two separate pockets. This particular pack from Everly Stock, it can be a top loader or a front loader. Uh, the other two packs that we saw were traditional top loading packs, which is what you can see. Or this can be a front loader too. So once you get inside the bag, you can see that there are uh, different pockets and, and different ways of, of stowing things away, strapping things down. And then, like the other two packs that we saw, there is access to the bottom. And then you'll notice in here, there is a shelf inside there. Okay, but that shelf is easily opened up. So now you can have access to a full length, full length bag. One more thing I wanted to point out is on the bottom of the Everly stock, it does have a built in rain fly. Okay, did not see that on the other two bags. Comes in really handy. And then on each side, each side is going to be the same, so I'm just going to show you one side. As you can see, you got these nice large uh, mesh ventilated pockets. Uh, you do have smaller ones at the bottom. And then you have another large pocket that runs down that is not the inside of the bag. It's separate from the inside. Okay, so this is the Everly Stock Battleship. Again, this is another pack that's really highly sought after, very well built, really high on demand. Uh, they did a great job putting this thing together, just like the other two, and you really can't go wrong with this. Okay, so just kind of sum things up a little, a little bit, just give you a quick overview again. Here we have the Kafaru, the Mystery Ranch, and the Everly Stock. Eight pounds, 9.3 pounds, eight and a half pounds. 6,900 cubic inch, 7,000 cubic inch, 8,000 cubic inch. This bag here, like you see it with everything on it, is, is right around the $700 range. This one here is right at about $600 as you see it. And this one here is coming in at $429. Um, to get the most out of your money, I mean, basically, in, in our opinion, this Everly Stock Battleship will do everything that these two will, and then some. Okay, and just, just to, as a... As a side note on the ending, just want to finish up just saying a few things. You know, we know there's a lot of lot of fans out there that are big Kufaro fans and, and big Mystery Ranch fans. And this is not to upset anybody's feelings or hurt anybody's feelings. We're just here to give our opinion based off of the facts and based off of what we see. Um, again, all three bags are, are no doubt high quality bags. You know, you're, you're not going to be disappointed with whichever one you choose. They're all three going to do the job, hands down. Um, what we're simply saying is that, you know, based off of the Everly stock, we can't see the benefit of going with the other two versus what this one has to offer at the price that it does. Um, it definitely will, will meet these two, no, no doubt about it, and we feel that it has a little bit more to op offer with the pockets and the way that the um, shoulder straps and the way that the padding is and the way it's designed. Uh, just, just our opinion, but um, just really wanted to thank all of you for stopping in today and watching this review. And certainly if you have any questions or comments, feel free to give us a call or email us. We'll be glad to talk to you about anything. And come visit our website at santanoutdoors.com.